Hi there, I'm Amy Cooper. I'm a senior field manager here at Demagi, and today we've organized a little tutorial on how to use case list icons. One thing that we find uh, our partners do is try to review the cases that they've enrolled in their project. So this quick tip shows you how to visualize the case list by adding icons. So this case list shows four women who are pregnant um, enrolled in their ComCare app. And today we're going to show you how to uh, show how long it's been since their last contact and their pregnancy status. Great. So here we are in ComCare HQ looking at the case list uh, setup page for this app. We have four case properties that we want to show on this case list. The name of the woman, the district that she lives in, the last time that we've come into contact with her, and her pregnancy status. So what you can see here in the most important part is the drop-down menu under Format. Before we get started, I want to give you a quick uh, glimpse at how this looks on the app when you use these simple features. So what you can see here is that the last contact date is showing up as a date, and pregnancy is showing up as yes and no. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna add some icons to the pregnant case property. And to do this, you're gonna go down to the icon menu and you're gonna press edit. Add images, press the green button. Select the choice ID that relates to that icon. So here we're gonna type yes. And then the upload button to pick the icon that you'd like to match with this uh, choice value. So we're going to pick a green uh, icon for pregnant women. We're going to add one more option here for no. And no is going to have a gray icon. Once you've uploaded both of these icons, you can see them show up in the case list with the format icon. So before I go any further, I wanna show you how to activate this feature flag. So you get a chance to set it up in your own project space. So the icon feature is available under the add-ons section. Go to the project settings in the top left corner and then go to the add-ons tab. On the right, pick the advanced menu and select your options for mobile experience and calculations. And here you wanna make sure the icons in the case list check mark is available so that the option appears in the case list dropdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And so now let's go back to mobile to see what it looks like with the pregnancy icon in place. Great. So here you can see the two icons that we uploaded being output based on the pregnancy status of the women in this list. So Mary is not pregnant. Now let's try and update the last contact date. This will be an opportunity for uh, mobile users to prioritize uh, case workers based off of the last time that they've been contacted. So here we're gonna go back to the case list and we're gonna select the case property last contact date. And in the drop down menu, let's select calculate. In the calculate condition, you're gonna to wanna to, uh, copy and paste the syntax that helps you uh, do this calculation. And it's gonna output one of two emojis. Let's create a simple if statement. If last contact, if today, minus last contact date is greater than 90, then this emoji, otherwise, different emoji. So the first choice is going to be for a positive result. So we can pick this icon here. 
To find icons, you should go to the website fitmoji.com. This is a great resource where you can find hundreds of different images that can be copied right into this calculate condition. So with the happy icon, I'm going to go right back in here and I'm going to I'm going to add that into the calculate. I'm going to add a person who is late or at risk of loss to follow up in this negative calculation here. Make sure to um, wrap these icons with a apostrophe so that the system can recognize them. I'm going to go ahead and press save. Before we show this to you on the phone, I want to remind you guys of how to activate this feature flag. You're going to go back to Project Settings, Add-ons tab, and if you scroll down, you can select the, the Show Calculations, and make sure to select Custom Calculations in the Case List, which allows you to specify an XPath expression. Great. So now let's take a closer look at what this looks like on mobile. So now we go to the follow-up form and we can see that some of our patients have a smiley face and others don't. So now we've added uh, icons to the case list to help create a more visual experience for your app users using icons in the case list, which are green and gray and calculated icons uh, using emojis. Great, hope you have a good day.